David Wallman here. Today, we're talking about a tool, a software from Blue Cat. This is called Axiom, and Axiom is everything you need to create tones like the one I was just using here, or really anything else. It's an open platform. I'll tell you what I mean by that in a second. But for now, let's take a look at the interface. Here it is. When you first open Axiom, this is what you have. So Axiom is an all-in-one guitar signal chain, including your amps, your effects, your uh, pre-effects, your post-effects, like all of that. And I'll tell you more about it in a second. But first, when you open it up, it can be a little overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. It's really simple. Now, you can go as deep as you want with this, as you'll discover. But um, in a nutshell, this is what we have. In the middle, in the center, you have the amp with the basic controls so that it's not too overwhelming, right? You just have what you would see on the amp. Now, this amp right here is made of different things, and you can access this by clicking this, and this will give you access to all the different parts of the amp. The preamp, the destruction, which is uh, Blue Cat's amp sim, and um, that's what they started with, and they expanded with Axiom. The, the post filter, which is, in essence, the cab, the cab model, and it comes loaded with tons of different cabs. And of course, you can use your own if you'd like. But that's hidden for you. You can just click here to access that. So in the middle, you have the amp block and whatever you are um, doing on there will be heard in real time. So if I want less mids, do that. Do all my EQ in real time. Just what you would expect from a basic amp modeler. Now you're hearing that reverb? Well, that reverb is right here. This is a ring reverb. I can access the, the settings of that if I want. Now, tons of options. I told you, you can go deep in there, but you don't have to. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pre-amp effects. Think pedals that you would place before your amp and six post effects that you would place after, like a reverb, a delay, or whatever you want. Speaking of these effects, well, Axiom comes with tons of different effects organized in different categories. So you have the delays and reverbs here. We have the distortion effects, dynamics, EQ, and, and all of that. Now let's go through a few presets. Then I will tell you why I think Axiom is so special. All right, let's dive in. Beautiful. Love it. I could spend hours on this. Let's spend a little bit of time on the, the amp block here. So we're gonna take a look at what happens. If we click this, that's what we have. Now in the middle, we have the amp sim that um, can be tweaked, of course. Maybe a little bit less drive. The preamp, we're gonna increase the mids. Okay. And then maybe we'll add in the pre a chorus. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select my chorus and the modulation. Yes, I know. The depth is a little too much. Same for the rate. 
I want something a little more subtle. It sounds good. Now take a look at this. This is a feature that I haven't seen in many other softwares. Let's say that I really like my post effect signal with the ping pong and the reverb. I want to save that, but I want to change everything else. Well, I'm going to click on this lock right here. This locks it in. So if I load another preset, another factory preset, maybe in the, the cleans, I'm going to open um, something like the clean stack. Pay attention to the post because that's not going to change. That stays there. It's locked. See, that didn't change, but everything else from the preset was loaded except for the post. Great feature. Let me show you something else that is magic. This is magical. A lot of other companies have started doing this. Axiom does it really well. It's a, a tool that transforms the, the pickups of your guitar. We've seen those before, but this works really well. So we're going to do this on the input right here, the re guitar. I'm going to select this. And this is in the input, right? So before anything happens, I want my pickup to be changed. So here I'm using this uh, Kiesel uh, with a humbucker. So I'm going from a humbucker, which I'm going to select right here. And let's say that I want to go, I'm, I want to transform that pickup into maybe a single vintage. So think Strat World. That's what I have. Originally, this was my pickup. With the re-guitar. Sounds brighter, right? It sounds like a vintage Strat single coil pickup. So here is my pickup dry. Here it is with the re guitar. Let's say that I don't like the single one. Maybe I want to have a telly style. Here it was bypass. Maybe I want to transform this humbucker into um, a wide jazz type humbucker. I know, that is not jazz, but it sounds like a jazz pickup. I'm going to go back to this um, single vintage, which I like. And th this is where the lock button is very useful. Let's say that this is my main guitar. And um, I, I just want to use a Telecaster because I'm recording something that kind of requires that. Well, I'm going to lock this, which means that now my guitar is always going to sound like um, a Telecaster because of the, the, the guitar re-guitar plugin. And then I can change any of these presets and I'm always going to be playing as if I was playing with my Telecaster. <laughs> Because Axiom is also a plugin, that means that you can edit all of those things after recording. A few years ago, it was not possible. If you recorded a rhythm section with uh, your Telecaster and you really want it to sound like a Les Paul, but you realize that and mix, well, you have to re record the thing. Not anymore. The re guitar plugin that is included in Axiom works wonders for that. And it really, it sounds it sounds the same. I cannot tell the difference. And you can tweak all of that reverb, uh, delay, drive, amp, like anything, anything after having recorded because it's a plug in version. I told you at the beginning of the video that Axiom is kind of an open platform. You can inject into Axiom any VST you want. So let's say that we don't like this reverb. I'm going to change it for my favorite VST, which happens to be a Wave VST, a VST from Wave. So I, I can just use that. Now my guitar is being processed by Axiom and 
the Waves VST plugin that I attached to this plugin. This is the reverb from, from Wave that I like so much. And next time, if I save this preset, Axiom will open not only um, everything that is within Axiom, but also that VST which is attached to that preset. All right, let's talk about the big elephant in the room. How does this thing feel? And honestly, you're gonna have to download the demo to try it for yourself and, 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 and feel, experience what I'm experiencing right now. I'm telling you, this thing feels amazing. It feels like you had a real amp, like the tubes are reacting. Particularly when you're playing with your fingers, that's when you can really tell that you hear the different tones coming out depending on how how my flesh is attacking the strings. It's, it's something you have to feel. You have to download the demo and try that out, but it feels so, so good. It's just a pleasure to play with. When Modelers first came out, it was, it was pretty sterile. Uh, depending on how you uh, attack the strings, well, you get the same sound, just a little bit lower. This really has an effect on the tone, uh, just like a real tube amp would have. So yeah, download the demo and try it, but I'm telling you, it feels wonderful. Before you ask, yes, Axiom can run two amps at once. It's very easy to do. This preset has two different amps, amp A, amp B. On the A side, this is what we have. So kind of a clean amp. Amp B is kind of a, a plexi type of thing. Uh, this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna bypass amp A, and now you're gonna hear it on the right side. I'm gonna activate both amps at the same time so that you have the stereo effect. Now, if I want, because both of these amps are independent signal chains, I could, if I wanted, on amp B, add an effect that will only be on amp B. And because amp B is on the right side, it'll only be heard on the right side. So maybe we want to add an echo, a delay. And this is just touching the surface of what Axiom can do. The fact that you can flawlessly import any VSTs, there are no limitations. You could very easily tweak any element of the, the interface of the signal chain. You can drag and drop things around. You can really create things that have not been heard before with this. The possibilities really are endless. This is not a closed platform that created something that will allow guitar players to explore new tonal territories I highly recommend that you check out the demo. It's a free demo. The link is gonna be below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go back to it and just keep exploring things. I love this thing. Thanks so much for watching this. I'll see you very soon. Practice well.